Hi, welcome back. It's Lionel, tech lead and partner at Westfall. And today we're talking about a big pink elephant in the room, which is failure. Especially in your software development or you're embarking on something, this is a really relevant topic at this point of time because I am embarking on changing the direction on the channel into actually creating a business out of software development that generates a passive income. So when you are addressing creating something new and you're going into something and pushing that envelope, you have to address failure. And this doesn't just mean new stuff. What I want to do is that give you an insight and a mental framework, some of the tips and tricks that I have been using, right, to harness this idea of failure. Now, one of the worst things that we have been taught, right, is that don't fail. And one of the strangest things that's been happening recently, right, is that I have been failing a lot. Okay, I have been failing in doing a new marketing campaign that I've been running. I'm spending money and it's been not generating any results. I've been failing in creating a new business line that I want to try to pursue. For a little short while, I have been failing on YouTube with a couple of videos getting 100 views and all that stuff. I've been failing in my personal life. I've been failing all around, right? So there is so much failure going on. And I only recently started to crystallize some of these strategies because the first point about failure, which I like a lot, and it's from Tom Platts, the bodybuilder, is that if you are not failing, you are not trying hard enough. And that's one of the reasons, right, after I heard this line, that I realized, right, why I've been failing so much so recently. It's like in the last two years, right, in the last one year, everything has been failing. And that's not bad. You know, I thought I got older and things, you know, the luck was against me. What had happened is that a couple of years earlier, I have gone to a level of success, right? And what happened is that I wanted more for myself, more for myself in relationships, more for myself in the business, more for myself in uh, my fitness journey. I got the success and that's why I started pushing myself more. I said, hey, and even, but the flip side is that you don't fail if you do not push yourself. And that's where Tom Platts is coming from. And what I like is logically that all of you guys know, right, that if you're in the gym and you want to get results in your muscles, you have to fail. You have to do your exercise until you can. live in the Tom Platts, right? What he says is that the last, if you're the last rep that you're doing on 30 is the one that counts, not the 29 before that, that uh, you managed to succeed. And this is a really strong point. And now that I think about it, right? If you are doing something like a one foot hurdle where you're just stepping over every day and not having any failure, you're not actually building anything. And that's the most painful part about this process. In order to get to the next level, you have to fail. That weight has to drop on you. Things have to go wrong. Dates have to go wrong. That is the mindset because you are demanding more and only at that point. So this is a, uh, a failing recently. You have been trying hard. Remember, people who don't try hard, they don't fail. And this brings me to an example in software development, right? You always hear of these guys like, hey, we have a software language that's flawless, okay? Never, no problems, no bugs, no anything. It also has no features and nothing has happened in the last 20 years. That's how you can achieve that, okay? So when you hear that, right, you know which one do you want. So very important concept. If you're not failing, you're not trying hard enough. If you're trying hard enough, you are going to get failure and a lot of it. Okay, the second point, the mindset that you have to change, right? A lot of us grew up, especially if you're in an Asian um, a household or if you're in Asia, this idea that failure is bad. Something has happened and you have encountered failure, right? 
And point two is to change your mindset that failure is part of the game. So a lot of mindset has been built around failure, right? Don't do this, don't fail. This, if you, you've been in Asia, if you fail an exam, you can't go to the next level. But this does not work in real life. If you don't want to fail, just don't take the test. That's the easiest way. What you have to learn, right, is more towards boxing, right? Like if you've seen Mike Tyson and you've seen some of these guys, they don't just train how to hit people. They train how to take punches. You're going to get punched and you're going to get knocked down. And it's about learning to take those punches, not be surprised, get back up. I mean, you are going to be a glass cannon if all you know how to do is throw punches. Because one day someone's going to throw that hailmaker and you are going to be knocked out cold. And a lot of successful people, especially in the employee line, okay, where it's a simulated low failure area, they have this thing. They don't take the punches. That's why you have to be prepared to take those failures on. It's part of the game. You know, a boxer has to know how to take punches in order to build there. So once you know that, you are ready. Like, hey, I've got to go. And you might even practice getting failure. You know, I've heard of boxers paying people to punch them. So this is what's going to happen if you're involved in any kind of performance, win-lose, uh, not 100% success endeavor. And that's all of the stuff that I mentioned, you know, talking about relationships. 100% uh, variable all the time. So this is going to happen. It is part of the game. Remember point two. Point three, right, is to get over the victory is short-lived. This one comes from Atomic Habits. And I thought about it really seriously because a lot of the success that you have, right, is very short-lived. If you've ever been successful in something that's quite big, it probably maybe lasts a week. Sometimes it only lasts two or three days, and then you wake up and say, okay, what do I have to do now, right? So you've seen some of these guys, they've won the gold medal 25 years or whatever it takes, Olympians, and they've got it, they go home, they find the gold medal, and that's it. You know, they feel happy, and then that's it. That victory is short-lived. What people, a lot of people don't understand, right, is how quick it goes away. So what are you going to do, right, about a victory that's so quick that you've spent all this time working towards? And I can tell you because I said, you know, one and a half years before, I had a whole bunch of success. And every time I get it, it doesn't last very long, even if it's a pile of whatever, you know, money or whatever. Very, very, very short-lived. Even the first video on this channel, right, the, the one that went uh, viral, yeah, it's still there. It's great, but it doesn't give me that joy. So how do you command this stuff? Because in the, inevitably, if it's so short, most of the time you're doing the invader, you're fi faced with failure. You know, can you imagine Olympian training, maybe 20 years to get a gold medal uh, of all the days, it's uh, 20 years minus one day of failing and one day of success that's that's that ratio so how do you do this the trick is you have to set mini milestones along the way not just the final victory intermediate targets that get you there and they might not have nothing to do with the results so this is one technique that you can get away from this boom bus only uh, mindset you know you know, like you see some of these guys, they say, hey, I want to be uh, a millionaire. Okay, for the day where you haven't reached there, what are, what are, you're not enjoying yourself. You know, you're in constant anger or failure. So you set mini targets along the way that get you towards that goal. Okay, the fourth point right there is learn to set up a system more than the results. Okay. So as we're going to go and build this passive income business, 
I want to be focused on the system of getting there. That's why we're doing these videos. That's why I actually feel much more invigorated to block this out there and write uh, to talk to you guys about this journey. So what is more important, right, is actually setting up a system towards your goal and success. A good example that I have is that recently I started a meetup group that just aims for 10,000 steps every weekend and I set up that group and go for it. And my goal, right, was not there how many people that turn up at the group. I, I'm not very concerned about that. All I wanted to do, right, is set up a timetable that I was going to do the 10,000 on the weekend, turn up and do the 10,000. And most of the time, most of the time, the only person that attends is me. But guess who's the only person who's got the benefit? Yours truly. And I didn't do it by looking at the goal and say, hey, I, want, I need four other per people to come and walk with me for 10,000. I only set up the system that I go on the meetup.com, I set up the event, it's there, I know it's there, I have to turn up in case someone turns up and I do the 10,000 steps. And there is the system. Instead of relying on, you know, motivation and well, all those drive and stuff, I relied on the system that took me all across the line. So when you deal with failure, right, don't bother so much about the failure of success. Let's say I've turned up that day and no one turned up, that's a failure. Focus on the system. Same thing now with YouTube, right? Um, I used to get quite upset if I come out with a video, right? And a good concept video that gets, you know, 100 views and then dies there. You know, I had that Thor uh, coding PHP video that had 100 views. And I thought it was really great. I thought, look how fun this is. And it didn't have any traction, right? Got kind of upset about it. But what I've decided to do with this series is that instead I'm going to document it for my benefit. And you guys will be along for the ride. We'll get views. We might not get views. It doesn't matter. We're going to go through that process, get that thing done. So you can see, right? It's about the process. I'm not too worried about the results. This is the idea of setting up a system and letting the results take care of itself. You know, if you follow all these things, the chance of success is high. It's not guaranteed, but this is the way to deal with failure. If you get a bad video, it doesn't matter. It's part of the process. Remember, point two, just continue. I'm not too bothered about it. So that's number four.